How are you guys doing? I'm doing terrible. <laughs> I'm really really tired. I didn't really sleep last night, so excuse my behavior in this video. I'm gonna be very slow and weird probably. I have been wanting to do this trend for a really long time, which is Bob Ross tutorial. Now I am into art. I pretty much never paint nature or landscapes or anything. The last time I did that must have been doing it with crayons in like kindergarten or whatever. I'm getting ahead of myself, but Bob says take a piece of tape so that we have a nice horizon line. The one that I'm doing is called Crimson Tide and from the end result, it's pretty much inconceivable to me that I could ever paint anything even close to what he did. So Bob starts off this tutorial saying that he's already done something, so he's already put, from what I understand, um, crimson around here and then blended up into blue and the same thing kind of mirroring. He didn't show this, he said that this is something he did in preparation, so that's helpful, thanks Bob. I don't know how to paint with oils. Something tells me this isn't quite right. Can you mix oils with water? Probably not right. This is a whole ass mess already. I'm gonna accidentally paint the wall or something, I swear. I did not prime the canvas because I don't have anything to prime canvases with because I don't paint oil ever. I got these. Good <laughs> little painting to do for friends or relatives, but don't tell them that you put color on the black canvas. Don't tell them. I don't know if I'm doing this right. He says he's using a round brush, which I don't have a round brush. There, you'll be the local hero for days. The local hero. Uh oh, what have I done, Bob? I think I went too high with my titanium white. I got into the blue territory, Bob. What happens if you go into the blue territory? Okay, this is not supposed to be stressful. This is supposed to be fun. So we're gonna have fun. Even though I drank a Red Bull last night at like 10 p.m. because I had a long drive home and then of course I couldn't fall asleep until like 5, 6 in the morning and I only slept for a few hours. Now I'm here making a Bob Ross painting and you can fill in the gaps yourself. Maybe I need more white even though I'm like almost out of white which is very problematic because we're only at the very beginning and white tends to be the most common color that you use when you're painting so therefore um, I think I'm screwed. <laughs> Mine's kind of turning brown, which is very alarming. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Bob, why is mine turning brown, Bob? Gorgeous paintings. So I already... <laughs> I hate mine with a passion. I feel like his actually looks like clouds in the sky, and mine just looks stupid. At this point, I'm not even following the rules. I'm just, like, adding shit. Bob would be disappointed in me. You guys, I've never been more frustrated. <laughs> This is supposed to be fun. It is a complete mystery to me how this man <laughs> puts white on the canvas because I swear to you, every single time I put any white on the canvas, it's gone in like two seconds. The minute I do a stroke, it turns into whatever color is within the vicinity of it. Um, even if I use a completely clean brush, the white just, I worked so hard to get this line here. I did that like 20 times, you guys. I guess you can't really blend it at all, you have to kind of just put it on and try not to blend it. I don't know. I'm really close to giving up <laughs> and I call myself an artist. So I ended up getting incredibly frustrated and just wiped all of this clean. And I'm gonna see if I can actually do the waves this time. And if I can't, then we're just gonna give up completely. <laughs> This is like really difficult actually. Not that I like expected mine to be like as good as his, but Let's do a rock. Um, something that is like hard to follow is that um, he doesn't really zoom out enough, so like I don't really know the scale that this is supposed to be right now. I'm just kind of drawing it based on like where he zoomed in. <clears throat> hey, um, so I'm back. It's the next day. 
Um, I had to take a break from this because I was just getting a bit frustrated <laughs> and it was just getting late. So I stopped painting yesterday. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Not that I think that like my painting would look anything like Bob's. Clearly Bob is like the expert here, but um, I at least thought like it would be easy to control the brush and to get the strokes that I want. But it's like, it's a really hard paint to control. Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I'm never gonna paint oil again after this is what I feel right now. This next part requires a knife apparently. I don't have any painting knives. I'm gonna try to freehand this with a brush even though it's kind of gonna look nothing like Bob's because the knife gives a really specific technique I think but see if we can imitate the shape um, that he's kind of created here. I'm straying pretty far from the actual instructions right now. I'm not even really using the right colors. I'm just like out here on my own right now. <laughs> Obviously I've lost the purple color quite a bit. I'm kind of trying to recreate it. It's not really working amazingly. I actually find it um, a lot easier to get the detail correct when it's like closer to dry. Like it's still not dry. I left this out overnight and like I could still touch it and probably smudge it and ruin it but it's like a lot more dry to the point that I feel like I can actually add color and it doesn't just get lost completely. Like that white actually showed up, wow, that was not happening yesterday. Like wow, it's actually blending in a way that I enjoy, this is a miracle. <laughs> I swear yesterday like if I tried to do this, it would all just turn brown. Not so bad. I'm just like straight up not following the <laughs> instructions because I don't have the tools that he has. So yeah, I'm just straight up um, not listening. Adding some darkness back in here, I guess. This is clearly supposed to be a lot darker. So I went and added just a bunch of black like around here, here, here because I just feel like black adds definition. Now I'm going in with like crimson and just, you know, fucking it up, I guess. Just straight up finger painting at this point. I'm just trying to bring back some of that purple though. A huge problem that I have is that I'm more or less completely out of white. Two. <laughs> I hate that. Those don't look like rocks, dude. Okay, so that's the end of the tutorial. I absolutely hate this. <laughs> I think it's probably the worst painting I've ever done in my entire life. Yeah, I absolutely think this is garbage and I'm probably gonna paint over it in black and start over and do something completely different. But <laughs> this is my Bob Ross attempt. A huge issue is that I ran out of white paint. Like, if I had enough white paint, I would totally go in, like, add detail, add these little, like, lines. Those don't look like rocks at all. They look like piles of poop on the shore. Um, this rock looks like garbage. I can't even tell where it ends. <laughs> I don't even know, you guys. To be fair and to be kind to myself, um, I didn't have the proper tool to do the waves. I didn't um, prime the canvas, so I didn't put liquid white or whatever. I just started painting, so that probably affected my abilities to blend and stuff. So yeah, to be fair to myself, I didn't really have all of the proper tools, but I feel like I should have at least <laughs> made like an okay painting, but instead I made this, so. Sick, awesome, dope. Thanks for watching, I guess. If you made it this far, I mean, probably like no one watched this far because honestly, I wouldn't. I might not even post this. I'm gonna go uh, burn this, so <laughs> I'll see you guys later.